Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am going to build the <clears throat> Master Grade Seed... What is this? The Dual Gundam, right? Yep, the Dual Gundam with the Assault Shroud. And here is the big Master Grade box again, taking up my entire desk. The artwork's really cool on here. Here is the side, if you want to see. <clears throat> Let's see. Tells you about that in Japanese, which I can't read. If you can, you can pause it and check it out, I guess, and read it. <clears throat> Anyways, just some pictures of uh, the finished kit here, all snapped up and unpainted, I believe, on this side. <clears throat> With the salt shroud, it shows you everything that's in the box. Hmm, some pretty cool stuff here. And that it's very movable. <clears throat> and it looks like it comes with the uh, pilot figure of Yuzak. And let's see, here's the side. Dual Gundam Assault Shroud, Zaft Mobile Suit. And it cuts off. <laughs> and that's the same artwork as on the front. Pretty cool. Got a bluefin sticker on it. And here we go. This tells you all about Seed and lets you know that there's a remastered comic, apparently. And then there's another picture of it, <clears throat> the dual Gundam with the Assault Shroud and without the Assault Shroud. And then it looks like some artwork. So, pretty cool. And on the other side, we just have the same thing as the other one. It says... Dual Gundam Assault Shroud, Zaft Mobile Suit, GATXO12. <laughs> alright, that's a lot. Anyways, alright, so let's, uh, <clears throat> let's turn it around here. About knocked my coffee off. It's the morning here today when I'm starting to film this. So. Alright, so let's get into this. We'll cut the straps. And these over there for right now and let's see what's in the box all right Ooh, look at that lots of lots of runners <clears throat> all right well we'll start off with this bag here and let's see what's in it so, wow, these are dry transfers. That's pretty cool. I did not know they did the dry transfers in these seed kits. Uh, so much better than stickers. Wish they were water slides, but dry transfers are pretty awesome. <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, so we have our first runner here. That's runner A. And I forgot to do a bag count. That was one bag. Two bags, <clears throat> three bags, four bags, five bags, six big bags of runners, and a manual. And we'll go over the manual here in a few minutes. Set that to the side. So, Alright, <clears throat> so we have shield parts, it's runner C, looks like feet, <clears throat> looks like parts of frame, letter M, <clears throat> set those off to the side, ah, these are the bags I can actually open with my hands now, alright, here we go, had this real nice light, or uh, it's kind of a light gray, it's pretty nice. Uh, there's the V-fin on there and the head. Looks like parts for the, some parts for the, I, think, I don't, can't remember. This might be the uh, back skirt or one of those. I don't know, leg parts. There's your Yizak figure right there. Yeah, let me get some more light in here. Hang on a second. There we go, we can see better. <clears throat> oh, look, the poly caps. 
It's not too bad. This is PC130B. It says down here B. I don't know what the B is for. <clears throat> All right, we'll set those off to the side. And here we have some of the assault shroud parts. This is runner I. <clears throat> Looks like this bag here is going to have more assault shroud parts in it. So let's see here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, excuse me. <clears throat> I think I might be getting a little cold. I'm not sure yet. I've been having a lot of congestion lately. Uh, this is runner J, and it looks like the leg parts, assault trout leg parts. And we have runner K in this darker gray. You got the rifle and some more frame parts. <clears throat> These are leg parts here. That out. Get that to focus. Some pretty nice detail on the frame in this kit, too. I know a lot of people have probably already built this kit. Um, I had these sitting in my backlog. I just have not got a chance around to do them. <clears throat> Gosh, excuse me. <clears throat> All right. All right, now that I've cleared my throat and probably been way too loud about it, I'm sorry. Uh, some more of those gray parts. Uh, this is Runner L. Got the shield parts, leg parts, leg parts, shoulder parts. Not sure. Uh, looks like arm, maybe, and part of the torso. And this is Runner B. <clears throat> I'm going to have to use the scissors for this one. Can't get it to open. All right. Maybe. <laughs> Always got to be one that's harder to open than the others. All right. This has our foil sticker wheel in it. Or sticker sheet in it. Some eyes and some cameras. It's not bad at all for stickers. Can get that in focus there. There we go. Set that over here. And runner E, this is all frame parts. MG1100 seed X frame, it says. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've never, never seen that on there before. That's pretty cool. All right, so and runner F it is more frame and joint parts. <clears throat> These are parts for the shoulder parts for the legs and our, here's our last bag and it's going to have to be cut open also so use my little scissors that were my grandmother's and we do have a sticker sheet in here also um, not horribly excited about that but we have these are beam effect, uh, so, uh, beam effect parts, but I can't read what it says on there. SB1 is what this runner is. So, and then we have runner D. It's more parts for the shield. It looks like parts for the arms and leg joints. Shoulder, hands. And then we have runner G. This is ABS. Okay. So this is ABS. I'm, I guess these, this here's, oh, there's a lot of ABS in this. I'm not sure. This is the only one I see that's stamped ABS, though. But uh, it feels like this. these other runners. And these are parts for the legs and the chest. And there's the cockpit and parts for the shoulders. But, uh, yeah. It's all in that gray. <clears throat> all right, so let's get a runner count. We have one poly cap, one beam effect, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <clears throat> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's thirteen runners in the box. Plus the poly cap and the beam saber effects. 
So that that's a lot of plastic, actually, for an older kit. All right, so let's go over the manual. So here's the artwork on the manual. Looks really nice. It's a really nice looking manual. All right. And let's open it up. And I love these old manuals because they have a lot of artwork in them. And you got some artwork, and you have the Buster, the Blitz, the Aegis, and the Strike there. All together, a little bit about Ezek, the pilot down there. And it gets into the build. It tells you those are dry transfers, not water slides or stickers. It shows you... The assault shroud body unit, left arm, left leg, shield cannon, head unit, right arm, waist, and right leg. I'm not sure why that's labeled there, but that's kind of cool. Then down here it shows you how to actually cut the parts off the runner, which we all should know by now. And now we're into our runner list. And it doesn't look like there's any parts on the runners that we're not going to use. Just a few of the poly caps that aren't going to get used. So that's cool. <clears throat> and it does does list in this manual, like some of the other ones, the newer ones have, uh, which runners make up which parts. So that's really nice. It looks like you start off with the chest, and then you go over to the head, and then into the arms. And then the leg units, feet, and we come to our colored middle page, which is pretty cool. Wow, that uh, that gray is almost a greenish gray on on here. I don't know if you guys can see that in the book, but it almost looks green. Uh, it's neat. Anyways. <clears throat> tells you all about the mobile suit. This is really cool here. With all the wires in the hangar bay being charged. And then it gets into the assault shroud. And how it can pur how it would purge the assault shroud off, it looks like down there. That's pretty neat. And yeah. So then we're gonna move on. Some more legs, the waist unit. Uh, you're supposed to put it all together and then goes into the weapons. So that's cool. <clears throat> weapons, 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 shield, beam saber, big gun, and ha, here. <clears throat> the assault trail doesn't start until the end of the manual. It's kind of kind of interesting. So it looks like uh, all these pages are going to be for the assault shroud. Shows you how to put it on, put it on, put it together, and the last page here is the sticker and the dry transfer <clears throat> page to show you where those all go. And look here. It's a nice way to display those. You got it without the assault shroud and with the assault shroud. And here are the colors. If you want those, and it shows Ezek, and it shows it non-painted and painted and panel line there, the head. So, <clears throat> all right. Well, this is going to be a fun kit, I think. So. I will get it all built up, and we'll get it on a turntable, and maybe on a action base, and I'll show you what, how it looks when we're done. All right, uh, I will see you guys here soon.
Alright everybody, so this is the Master Grade 1100 scale dual Gundam with Assault Shroud. And it's from the Seed line. And uh, my final thoughts on this kit are it's a really cool kit for the price. You get a lot in it. You get a lot out of the kit. Especially with it being a Master Grade. You have all sorts of really cool little gimmicks like the moving knee armor and all of that. Um, this here was an actual really fun build. I actually got a little carried away with it. That's why this video took a little bit longer. Um, I got into painting a little bit of it here and there and doing some extra work. Now, as you see, this does not have any armor on it at the moment. Uh, I do have the two beam sabers that it comes with in its hands. And now we're going to go over here. Look at this. This is everything you get with this kit. It is so cool. You get this big rifle that I still haven't been able to figure out how to make it hold. But uh, it will it will hold it in the hand. It just doesn't support it up as well as I like it to. You get a shield. You get all these really cool parts for the assault shroud. Uh, shoulder armor. Um, like uh, arm armor. You get chest armor, uh, gives it front and back skirts, and uh, the leg armor is really cool. You do get a piece to put in the crotch of it to hold it up on a stand. I don't have an extra stand at the moment built up, so that's why I didn't put it up there. And it comes with its rifle, and it comes with a rifle for the shoulder, the shoulder cannon. It's pretty neat. Uh, you do get uh, open hand, holding hand, closed fist hand, and a trigger finger hand for each hand. So for each side, for the right and left. Um, this is pretty cool. It has missile pods in it that opens for the shoulder armor for the assault shroud. Um, the assault shroud's a little finicky once you get when you get it on. Um, I my main. Uh, complain about it is that the leg armor seems to kind of pop off uh, if you press it the wrong way. Other than that, everything else holds on really great. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure how I'm going to display it yet. I do have an action base for it. I just forgot to build it up. Um, I've been working on the Aegis also right now, so you'll see that video next. <clears throat> Anyways, this has been the dual master or the master grade 1100 scale dual with a sh with assault shroud gundam from the seed line so <clears throat> anyways i really appreciate you all tuning into my videos i appreciate each and every one of my subscribers uh if you are not subscribed then please by all means it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe to my channel by going down below clicking that subscribe button Make sure you hit that bell notification so you get uh, informed every time I put a new video out. Um, I've been trying to do a few extra videos here and there and around. Um, it has been a little trying this month. I had a lot going on. Uh, I do have another video already half filmed uh, with a kit that's built up that I have to finish up also right now. So you should be seeing that within the next couple of days also. Anyways, um, you guys mean the world to me. Uh, thank you very much for tuning into my channel and checking out my builds. And I will see you all in the next video.